Lava Agni 2 5G is the latest mid-range offering from the brand and succeeds the Lava Agni 5G which was launched in November 2021. Our team worked to test the device for a few days. Here's our detailed review. The company claims that not only does the newly launched Lava Agni 2 5G come with an impressive design, but it also has a good display size as compared to other phones in this segment. Lava Agni 2 is a mid-range smartphone. Although the phone is originally priced at 21,999 rupees, customers buying it through debit or credit card of certain banks can buy the phone for less than 20,000 rupees. The phone comes in a premium 3D bag design called the 3D dual cover design. It has a matte finish at the back and a slim bottom bezel. The device is available only in a single Viridian color option. Even though the chrome colored side rails are susceptible to minor fingerprints, that's not the case with the back panel. The right side of the phone has the power button and volume rockers, while the bottom has the Lava 5G branding. The back has the camera bump with a quad camera setup along with LED flash. The bottom has a USB Type-C port, microphone, SIM tray and the speaker grill. Talking about the quality of the speaker, the phone has a single bottom firing speaker with a decent volume and bass response, although it could perhaps have been better. The phone has a 6.78-inch Full HD AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 120Hz, Widevine L1 license and HDR10 support. The curved display certainly looks premium given the device's price. Initially, the ambient light sensor would reduce the brightness of the phone too much inside, but this seems to have been fixed thanks to a software update by the company. Although we didn't see the HDR option while watching content on Netflix, HDR playback was supported while watching YouTube. This could be fixed via a software update in the future. The always-on display feature works fine, but the edge lighting feature needs improvement. The Lava Agni 2 5G is equipped with the Octa-Core MediaTek Dimensity 7050 5G SoC and 8GB of RAM. The 7050 Dimensity chipset is not very different from the previous generation 1080 Dimensity chipset when it comes to the hardware. The phone is quick in operation and we were able to load the apps quickly. The transitions were smooth with the high refresh rate display making up for a good viewing experience. The phone has a third generation wafer chamber cooling to avoid overheating during heavy gaming. We tested this and found that the phone did not heat up too much, suggesting that the cooling system was working as expected. We also tested the phone on Antutu and GFX Bench. The device attained a score of 5,43,613 on Antutu Benchmark. This is a bit decent compared to the Realme Narzo 30 Pro and original Lava Agni 5G, which got scores of 3,43,288 and 3,79,571 respectively. The quad camera setup on the Lava Agni 2 includes a 50 megapixel 1.0 micron camera sensor. It is accompanied by an 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. The rear camera takes good pictures both in daylight and low light but the portrait mode needs improvement. The front camera could have been better too. The portrait mode in the front camera worked fine indoors, even in low light conditions, although the quality of the images was not up to the mark. Video captured from both the front and back cameras while walking was too shaky. The EIS can be improved at the software level as well. While the videos captured in daylight were good, for those clicked at night, the sharpness was a bit low. The Lava Agni 2 5G is equipped with a 4700 mAh battery and a 66 watt wired fast charging adapter, which claims to charge the handset from 0 to 50 in under 16 minutes. The smartphone ran for an impressive 19 hours and 5 minutes in our HD video loop test. Even though the battery drains slightly faster while gaming using 5G, this is something that is seen with most 5G phones. The device runs on Android 13. Its 8GB RAM capacity can be expanded to 16GB RAM through virtual reallocation. There is 256GB internal storage with read-write speeds of up to 874MB per second and 245MB per second respectively. There were no bloatware apps, ads or spam notifications. The company has also given the guarantee for Android 14 and 15 upgrade and security updates for up to 3 years. The device supports 13 5G bands. It provided adequate coverage and maximum speed when we tested it on Geo 5G. The Lava Agni 2 5G is a good option for those looking to buy a flagship phone without spending too much money. Given the price, this smartphone is competing with iQ Z7s and OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite. All three of them are good options in this price range given their performance. Where the Lava Agni 2 5G stands out is its great display. 
However, it does not have a stereo speaker option. Other than this, the smartphone is a worthwhile pick in its segment and is a good choice for any new user. Don't forget to hit the like button if this video is useful for you. And stay tuned to Gadget360 for all things tech.